Hello and welcome back to a new video. We have a very exciting episode coming up. Uh, I won't give any spoilers. Oh my god! Yeah, absolutely no spoilers. Anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in this episode, so uh, please enjoy. And if you enjoy, then if you want, you can, you know, subscribe to the channel and, you know, like the video, all that stuff. Or not. Either way, please enjoy. Okay, that is a Yakamari done. I've got the Dwarves on. And let's go. Maybe I can get some Acto. That'll be lovely. Wrong one. Like loot. Alright, Yakamari first. Uh, nothing. Reroll into nothing. Oh my god. I'm so unlucky at raise, man. I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, um, yep, Beastmaster, let's go. Nothing. Ah, nothing. It's like 30 raids, dry. Pretty good, pretty good. Hey, so my daily is done again. See what it's gonna give me. Oh, yeah, there we go. I get another Death Touch dot. Sick. Okay, that's a pretty decent reward. Okay, <clears throat> the raid done, pretty slow, but it's fine. Man, I've done so many raids recently. I get a reroll token? Nope. Okay, <clears throat> got my luck of the dwarves on. Ah, let's see what I can get. Yaka first. Nothing from Yaka. Okay, uh, Beastmaster. Man, my luck at this boss is... They should really change this. It shouldn't be every two days. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, the gear is not even good anymore. Like, Acto is like... It's literally not good. I mean, it's good, but it's not, like, the best, so... I'm not sure why this is still, like, a two-day thing. Yeah, okay, let's see if I can get anything from my presence. Maybe I can get a cheeky Aurora die. I just quickly get my prayer XP. Uh, I got 212k prayer. Oh, that got me 106. Nice. Maybe I can get one of these fucking dies. That'll be sick. You get a decent amount of oddments as well, to be fair. Not that I care about them, but that's a thousand oddments right there. Jesus. That was a bit fucking spicy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start opening my troves now because I have a lot, quite a lot stacked up. I have like 260, 270 tier 3 troves. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and open them. Okay, I know you can't really get too much from these, can you? Not like the best rewards. In 260, according to Wiki, it's a 1 in 10. So I should be able to get 26 or 27 Pernix Shards, or Pernix Quipper Fragments, whatever they're called. So yeah, that's uh, good luck. Any more fragments? Nope. 24, so I'm just under drop rate. It's 1 in 10. And I got 24 out of 265. We have 3 troves, so yeah, I'm like 3, 4 under drop rate, but it's fine. So I'm like nearly 25% of the way there. And Onyx is a really nice. He hides. Alcables are really nice. 48 restore, sorry. You get extreme rangings as well, that's nice. Super attacks. Pretty magic. You get some decent rewards from this. I got so many Dragon King bones, by the way. Let's uh, look at how many bones I've got now. All from Carapac. 10,500 Dragon King bones. 
on mainscape they're like 15k each. That's like 150 mil worth of bones. Insane. But just a quick update. Pretty much the same as last time. On like 367 solos, hard mode, and still one piece. Okay, so I'm about to AFK some divination. Um, however, I do need to change my relics. Because obviously... When I uh, when I do divination, I need to use the uh, the good relic, whatever it's called, that does my whole inventory. This one, converting memories at rift to convert your entire backpack in one go. So I need to get this, but unfortunately, I haven't really got too many chronos. So yeah, I'm just gonna go hand in a bunch of logs, like when I was grinding uh, archaeology. I saved up a shitload of stuff. I can still get my second inquisitor piece. Like at the minute, I got this. Yeah, I'm just going to go hand these in for some chronos and some tetra pieces. I'll hand in this one because this only requires four. So currently, I have 7,200 chronos. Hopefully, we can get a decent amount. Yeah, I haven't completed this log because I was saving it until I uh, have two out of three of Inquisitor. And then I can just hand it in for the last piece. But you know what? I'm just going to hand this in now. So yeah, like I said, I was saving it up. But you know what? what? I'm going to get some chronos for it. And if so, let's hand that in. There you go. That is another Inquisitor staff piece. So now I am two out of three. And once I get the rod, uh, then I can make the Inquisitor stuff. I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure if this is good anymore, but yeah, whatever. That gives me a few extra chronos as well. That's 300,000 chronos. And I might as well go handy in these thousand batteries. I get 850,000 XP. I'm going to go see if i got any more logs to hand in, because I need more Chronauts, eventually. That's another raid done. Maybe we can get lucky, please. Oh yeah, I changed my character, by the way. It's Christmas, and I look very cute. Lol. Alright, good luck. See what I can get. Oh, can I buy a reroll token? One second. Oh, I cannot. Oh, good luck. Yakamori yeah, first. Uh, nothing from Yaka. Master is gonna be nothing, of course. Okay, um, it's time to change my relics back. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is uh, this is my new outfit. By the way, looks pretty sick. To be fair, this is the outfit. It looks sick. <laughs> um, yeah, let's change back my relics now. I AFK so much divination. So it, I'll quickly show you my uh, charges. So. I fully charged my my bag with like 130 charges, which is like what 24 hours of combat, and then also I got an extra 455. But in total, I got like close to 600, right? 130,000 Edison energy, maybe. So yeah. All right, it's time to take this back off, and I think I'm gonna change this, this around a little bit because I do want to start using Death Ward. So instead of using this Iron Senses, which I usually use, like the extra 10% of drain, like 110%, it's not it's not great to be fair. I, I was using it for a while, but it's not too good. So now what I'm going to do is get Death Ward. So 5% damage reduction when your life points are below 50% and 10% damage redu reduction when they are below 25, so yeah, I'm just gonna go, go back to using Death Ward. But yeah, I think that's probably it. I've still got 200 power, but I think this is like the best setup, right? Unless we can get rid of this, because this, is, this isn't very good. So we got Death Ward, we got Berserker's Fury, and Font of Life. Can I use something instead of Font of Life? I think that'll be better. That's 550 out of 560. So, yep, we got Fury of the Small, the Berserker's Fury, and Death Ward. It's a really good setup. Four hundred kill count. Um, yeah, that's 
400 hard mode Karapak and I don't know, nothing to show for it. Ah <laughs> uh, man, I don't know anymore. I don't know bro. So obviously I'm an Iron Man, yeah, and I had absolutely no idea that we can buy stuff from Grand Exchange. And genuinely, all of the rewards that you can get from like events, I had absolutely no idea you could buy them. Like I remember seeing a few days ago you could buy shit from Grand Exchange, like the Santa outfit, the green Santa hat. Is that, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Yeah, you actually can. Oh, no, no bit of shit. I'm not sure what you can buy them because it shows everything, right? So I'm not going to be able to buy this. Obviously, I can't buy the less sand because I'm an Iron Man. I'm not sure what it allows me to buy. Like, can you filter it so you can only see what the Iron Man are allowed to buy? But apparently, I'm allowed to buy the green Santa hat. But apparently, I'm allowed to also buy the green Santa outfit. But I'm not sure if that's true or not, yeah? I, what, can I buy the tokens as well to unlock everything from events? I'm not entirely sure what I'm allowed to buy. I guess I can try and buy something, right? But I'm just scared. What if, like, something buys and it deactivates my Iron Man account because I use the Grand Exchange? <laughs> I don't know, man. Try and buy this for 400k. I'm not sure if it's going to let me buy it or not, right? Yeah, you cannot buy that item in Iron Man mode. Okay, fine. But I, I kind of need, like... If I can get a list of stuff I'm allowed to buy for an Iron Man, that would be sick. Because, like... Obviously, it's all going to be like cosmetics here, but it'll be nice to have, so maybe let me know in the comments if you know anything I'm allowed to buy. But I wouldn't mind a green Santa outfit, it looks pretty sick, but mad expensive. Yeah, it's kind of like fucking 200 mil a piece. Insane. Okay, that's another Slayer task complete here at Hard Mode Karabakh. Alright, let's quickly run to Slayer Master. Hopefully we can uh hopefully we can get a new task back to back. Otherwise uh, I've got this from Slayer. Please, 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 that would be great. I really don't want to do Slayer. I just want to camp Karapak. Come on. Please, 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 please. Oh shit. Edamu Steel Dragons. Alright. We've got a few skips actually, fine. Cancel. Come on. Ah, oh, thank fuck for that. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I like to see. Odin Dragon King 112. Let's go. Alright, so one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my Borrowed Power spell finally. So I think I'm going to be setting it to Vulnerability. So that is the plan. So rewards. I set my Borrowed Power spell to Combat and a Vulnerability. There you go, you set the Borat Palace Bell to Vulnerability. So, right, so basically, I, I think this is how it works. I'm not too sure. But, like, you can use ancient spells like normal. Right, and then when you want to use Vulnerability instead of using bombs, what you can do is just swap to Luna, click on Borat Power, and it doesn't work. Okay. You can't use Borat Power while using Spellbook Swap. Right, I don't understand. Well, let me use Borrow Power Spell. I don't understand. Right, okay. Um, I'm not sure how that works then. Let me know in the comments because I have no idea how to use Borrow Power Spells. There we go, we now got Terlith Gauntlets. So, yeah. If you're wondering about my actor pieces, by the way, this is what I have. Uh, I have all of the actor boots and a pair of primeval gloves. So now I just need to get the LA gloves and the range gloves and then I can start getting all the helmets. I'm not sure if I have to wear these or not, but I guess I'll wear them just in case. All right, so yeah, I got my turret of gauntlets on. Hopefully we can get uh, increased chance of actor turret of gauntlets. All right, Yakamori first. Nothing. And nothing. And Beastmaster, nothing. Okay, that is another raid done. Thank you. I got my Luck of the Dwarves on. Let's put on my Turret of Gauntlets. And let's hope for the best. Please. Yakamaru, nothing. Nothing. Beastmaster. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. My raid luck is just... I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll just buy my daily runes real quick. Um, yeah, so... That should be another Death Touch die, right? 
There we go, five mil. Oh, check how many I've got now. That should be eight, I think. Uh, yep, still more strike ones because I have no aggression pots. Like yesterday, I used a few and um, really. Let me see quickly. Not boss. Uh, uh, Slayer creature. So I'm currently on uh, 51,992. So around 8,000 more until I'm on 60k. And then I can prestige my uh, Ascension creatures. But yeah. I ran out of aggression pots. So we are here. Right, so if we look in my bank. Uh, yes. I got a decent amount of Searing Ashes. So let's see how many I got. Where are they? Be somewhere. There we go. 62. So, yep. 62 Searing Ashes. That's enough for 31 flasks. So, yep. Let's go ahead and make some flasks. 16 hours of AFK Legionnaires. So, let's start ranging, right? I want to start using range because I have Serenic. And obviously, I can turn that straight into Elite Serenic. They've got enough scales. I've got like another thousand scales inside my chest at ED1, right? Um, over 800 scales, so I can just turn it instantly into. Elite Serenic. And I do have offhand Blackbound Crossbow. But if I can make a main hand Ascension, that would be sick. That would be main hand Ascension and offhand Blackbound. And obviously, I've got like all of these Keystones. But the only ones that I need are Primus and Quarters. Because I got two of these Signets, one Tertius Signet. Four of these, two of these. Like, I just need one Signet of Primus and one of Quartus. Then I can make a Ascension. Already got the limbs, of course, but yeah, that's why that's like kind of my next goal. So that way, I can at least start ranging because it's going to be a while before I go back to Solak. Yeah, if I can start ranging at Karapak, that will kind of break up a little bit. It'll give me a little bit of break from just like four ticking constantly, for hours and hours on end. Yeah, well, I just made some incense sticks, uh, qualm ones for the weapon poison, increased damage. And then that takes so long to make, honestly. Yeah, currently we have 77 Qualm Incense Sticks. Yeah, highly doubt I'm going to make them again. I've finished another hour at Aeropack. Mm -hmm. My kill count is 455 now. And obviously, if you don't know why this number is so special, uh, the drop rate of the staff pieces is actually uh, 3 in 450. So... Also known as like 1 in 150, right? But yeah, usually on average at 450 kill count, you can expect a full staff piece. You can expect all three pieces from 450 kill count. And yeah, I've soloed 455 and I am on one staff piece. So yeah, my drop rate on this, like RNG is, and unfortunately my RNG is not on point. Even G Conk would be amazing to get. Nah, the mask is kind of demotivating, honestly. <laughs> it really is. Come on, give me some Acto, please. Nothing from Yaka. Nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my fucking god, yes. Oh my god. Bro. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Holy fuck. Oh my god, yes. That is so nice, bro. Jesus Christ. Finally. Oh, man. Yes. Okay, that is my second staff piece now. Second staff piece, and I am on... Uh, 464. So, like... I got my first one on 70, so nearly like 400 kills until I got my second one. Oh my god, yes, that's so good. Okay. Right, just one more piece. Oh my fucking god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. G Kong. Oh my god. Wow, my luck recently, man. Past like couple of hours, my luck has been insane. There's a great concentrated blast. Nice. 
Wow, that's that's insane. That's so good. What KC was that? Not that was like very close to the uh to the star piece, right? 477. Wow. I just need the symbol, fam. Just need the symbol and I'm done at carry pack. Okay, so yep, yeah, let's just instantly unlock that. Unlock the ability. There we go. I just unlocked greater concentrated blast. That is sick. Oh my fucking god, I'm done. I'm actually done. Bro, I'm actually done. I'm actually fucking done. Not a chance. Not a chance. I'm done, bro. I'm actually done. I'm done. That's the staff. I just got all three pieces. What KC was that? Oh my fucking god. Bro. Air pack 505. And we're done. Oh my god. Jesus, I got this one at 77, this one at 480, and then this one at 505. So 25 kills, I got two pieces. That's insane. Technically, I'm still under drop rate because it's, it's like you should finish your staff before 450, so I'm a little bit under drop rate, but I don't give a shit, mate. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Oh my god, I just got the fractured staff. I just finished it, fam. I literally just. I'm done. I'm done. Jesus. Oh yeah, something real quick. Not this, this is not as interesting as my um as my staff piece drop, but this FU that I got from Karapak is gonna give me 190 million for my XP. There we go. Yep, I have less than 10 mil until 200 mil farming. Nice. Very good. Oh, that's gonna give me a prey level too, right? Oh, 21 games until 107 prey. Yep, so yeah, I'm, well, I'm still going to be doing my daily farming, obviously, but that should take me around two weeks, I reckon. Okie dokie. So it's time to make myself the uh, best in slot perks. So uh, I'm on a wiki now, and the best in slot... What do I go to? I go to advanced weapon perks, magic... Two-handed, there we go. So, uh, the best perks for the Fractured Staff of Armadale is Precise 6, uh, Precise 6 Ruthless 1 and Aftershock 4 Equilibrium 2. And, oh, I've already got that on this, haven't I? Yeah. I've already got best of slot perks on my, uh, let's get staff. Yeah, I'm just going to try and go for it again. Grab a convention potion. Wherever they are. So the first one we need is precise six ruthless one. Okay, I don't even know if I'm I don't even know if I can get that honestly. Uh, precise six ruthless one, yeah. For that I need seven armadillo components, which I doubt I have. Uh Oh, okay, I've got enough, actually. I've got 15, so I can do... I can do two tries for that. If I can't get Precise 6 Ruthless 1, then I will just go for... Then I'll just take it off the staff. Then I'll just use, like, a Gizmo Remover or something. But yeah, we got one try for this. Do I have any of these? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go. First perk... So we need seven armadillo and two genocide or two of the blue ones, whatever they're called. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two of these, right? Find more components. So we're going for uh precise six ruthless one. Good luck. Nice, first try. Yeah, that's the best in slot for one of them. Now we need to go for Aftershock for Equilibrium 2. I've got 15 in the Jankin, so hopefully we can get it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And three time one. So yeah, Aftershock 4, Equilibrium 2, good luck. Nope. Shit, that's not good. That's really not good. 
Okay. Um, I'll put these in my gizmo bag for now. I really, I, I want to max out my staff here. It's, like, it's the best in slot staff. But I want to put the best in slot perks on it. Let's just grab my gizmo bag, wherever the fuck that is. And now we're going to do that. Alright, so I'm not going to go grind out components, right? So what I'm going to do is just take it off my staff, I think. Yeah, we're just going to make myself an equipment separator. And now we're going to use this on my staff. Oh, really? I have to take them both out? I'll be undone. Ah, I thought I could uh, just remove one so I could keep the precise six ruthless, ruthless in there, but I can't. I guess. Well, I used to just be able to choose one, right? I don't know. Anyway, it's done. So, yep, my augmented star for Swiske has no perks on it. Yeah, we're good. We got the best in slot perks. I kind of cheated a little bit by taking it out of my staff. That is what it is. Okay, let's do it. No more delaying it. These pieces are so expensive, by the way. Like, this, like on Mainscape, this symbol is... 879 mil this is 700 mil this is 745 like this stuff landscape is like over max cash i don't know how much it is obviously but yeah it's mad expensive all right it's time practice stuff of armadil all the pieces let's make it there we go fractured stuff of armadil is done level 95 now we are just going to uh, put an augmenter on it. We're going to put the perks on, so precise six and aftershock. There we go, we're done. So, yep, yeah, we now have a augmented fractured staff of Armadil with precise six ruthless one and aftershock four equilibrium two. Best in slot staff with the best in slot perks. Yeah, boy. Staff looks sick. Wouldn't mind getting a die for it, but yeah. I think like a blood die would look sick on it. Nice. Really nice. Staff done. No more, uh, no more hard mode carry pack. Thank you all for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. So yeah, it was honestly a fantastic episode, we got so much. At least, uh, at least we're not locked out of the game now. Because literally when I was online, I just didn't want to do anything apart from Karapak. Until I got my staff, and yeah, we're done. So, it just allows me to do other things in the game, not just that one boss. If you watch the whole video, you're an absolute beast. It's like, nearly 30 minutes long, Jesus. Maybe, um, I don't know, if you watched all of the video, then comment down below something. Like, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, brap, brap. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, anyway, for real, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.